Yes, many of you have joined just now. Okay. Okay, how did you feel uh, about uh, exam uh, paper, Manobna? Can you please talk about that something? Yes, sir. Manobna. Sir, can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Yes, Manobna, tell me. Sir, your voice is breaking. Manobna, I'm asking that how you felt about the exam? How was your exam? Sir, it was all right. It was not too hard. It was not too easy. Hmm. Okay. What about what about Zoya? Questions were easy, but I couldn't have enough time for some questions. Okay. So you want me to give extra time? No, sir. I'll try to complete it fast. Okay. So how many of you want extra time? Can you raise your hands? I mean, at least 10 minutes extra. 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes extra. Just me that you raise your hand and no. Okay. What about others? Sir, all the time it's okay. The last four questions I am missing it, sir. Like the last four questions am I doing in such hurry? It's it depends on my luck if I get the last four questions correct or not only because of time zone hmm. okay no problem good so look at the question paper now we'll discuss it how many of you did the first one from me sir i also did it sir How did you solve it? X cube plus B, uh, Y cube plus Z cube. How many of you did this? And how? No one responds. Sir, I got it right. Yes, sir. No, no, no. I'm asking how you solve it. So your voice, is, your voice was breaking. Can you like repeat? No, I'm asking how you guys did solve this. Children, can you hear me? So now? for this, uh, like... Sir? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, you're audible. Now I'm asking, beta, it's a quite simple question. How many of you solve this? It's a quite simple. Already we know the result. See here, A cube plus B cube plus C cube formula. How many of you know that? A cube plus B cube plus C cube is equal, sorry, minus. Minus 3ABC. Yes, sir. Minus 3ABC. Minus 3ABC is equal to A plus. Sir, is equal to. A plus B plus C into A square plus uh, B square. Sorry. Plus See, guys, we'll do one thing. Sir, it's A square. In terms of, sir, uh, A square. We'll write in terms of X, Y, Z. No problem. Why? Because we have in terms of X, Y, Z, right? So, X cube plus Y cube plus Z cube minus 3X, Y, uh, Z. We'll write in terms of X, Y, Z. It's called to X square plus Y square plus X Z plus square. Y plus Z plus X square plus Y square X plus Z square minus X Y minus X Y minus Y Z, y Z minus X Z. Correct. Yes. This is what we just know. Uh, know the formula actually, but you know substitute after this every value. You know that we need to find out X cube plus Y cube plus Z cube. That's it. So look at this here. Minus three into X Y Z value given to you. How much? Beta minus one. Look here. 
minus one into x plus y so, plus zero so minus three. X square plus y square. How much? We do not know. Let us keep as it is. So x square plus y square plus z square. So minus taking common. So x square plus y plus z is how much? Minus one. Correct. This is what I just can write here. Yes, sir. B plus y cube plus z cube uh, plus z cube plus three. Is equal to yes, x square sir. plus y square plus z square plus yes, one. Sir, correct plus one. Yes, sir. So very simple, beta. Now look at it, sir. X cube plus y cube plus z cube. Three minus one, two plus two. I am writing this one. X square plus y square plus z square, beta. Correct. Any doubts? So we know that we know that a square plus b yes, square sir. plus c square form. Last for that, how can we write this as? How can we write this as? You understand my point? Look at this here. This can be written as what, beta? See, so uh, let me let me write this as it is. Is equal to uh, a plus b plus c whole square minus minus two times of x y plus y z plus z x. Correct? Am I correct? Yes, sir. So so x cube. My goodness. We'll do one thing, beta. Let me erase this, and let, I don't have sp much space here. Let me write in the. So I'm writing uh, the left side part as it is: x cube plus y cube plus z cube, z cube. So plus two is equal to x plus y plus z. How much would be one square minus continuation here two into minus one. Am I correct? Yes. X cube plus y cube plus z cube, z cube plus two. Uh, I'm shifting the right hand side. So plus two minus two. Correct. So this this will get cancelled. Answer is one beta. Correct. Answer is what? Any doubt here? Yes, sir. Any doubt? See, no. any one of you guys, if you have any doubts here, you may ask. See here, sir, how did you write this formula here, beta? Mane, I I just wrote the formula as per like this: a plus uh, b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus two times of a b plus b c plus c a. Okay. But we need this one, so I made a subject of this. I shifted to left hand side. That's how I just got this one. Hope it is clear. Hope it is clear. So yes, let me clear the screen now. Shall I clear the screen? Sir, can you like explain the last step? Which one? The last step, sir. Which one? Look at this here. X cube plus y cube plus z cube. Balan jagam. X cube plus y cube plus z cube plus two. Correct. One square is one. Minus into minus plus, so this one plus two as it is I wrote. I just shifted this two to the right hand side. That's it. It became minus two. Or else you do one thing. If you don't run, oh, right, right, right. One second. If you don't understand like that, let me write here itself. Minus, minus of, minus one. So this plus two plus two will get cancelled. Left with one only. Correct. Understood my point. Yes, sir. It is quite simple. So minus into minus two, minus into minus plus, right? So plus two here. This two, this two will get cancelled. After you know, after that I just left with only this one. If you write this, x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to one. Very simple. Hope it is clear now. All right. So shall I uh, clear the screen now? If you want to copy, you can copy, beta. If not, you have to watch the. No, like I didn't understand. understand from, it, which you didn't sir, understand. Sir, I didn't understand from that step. X cube plus y cube plus z cube plus two is equal to that x square plus y square plus z. Square. So from even there, I kind of didn't understand it from there, sir. No problem. I'll explain you again. Look at this, beta. Here, a square plus b square plus c square. Isn't it looking like that? Isn't it? Yes, sir. Very yes, simple. Yes, sir. Let me write like this: x cube plus y cube plus z cube plus two. As it is, I wrote. I just wrote the same stuff here. This I am writing as like this. Is me? What problem? Hey. But I see. Look at this here. As per the above formula, here a square plus b square plus c square can be written as what? A plus B plus C whole square minus two times of AB. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. 
got it my point now now this yes, is a formula sir. is just used to write this stuff from this one any doubts now think think guys any doubts make it fast tell me any doubts no sir no sir in this so shall i clear the screen now Shall I clear I the screen? Yes, sir. sir, can you like tell how you got one? I understood, but like, can you tell how you got one? Well, no, I substituted the value given to you. Hmm? Okay, sir. See, if you observe here. One second, guys. No, here I just yes, sir. Understood, sir. We substituted one square minus two. Hmm. Uh, plus two and then it became three and then two yes. like on the other side yes exactly hmm. okay yes so you can clear shall i hmm. Chalo, next question hmm. look at a second question here see what he has given here factors of this one uh, in fact we didn't uh, we didn't discuss that synthetic method right finding the factors of cubic polynomial i'll tell you a simple shortcut here look at this this is a cubic polynomial given to you what is that x cube minus 3x square minus 10x plus 2x okay i think that should be 2 that shouldn't be 2x okay let's try with this 2 and let's uh, check okay so, so like in this case we have to like assume whether like uh, one no. or two something yeah yeah see here what see if i take x value as one substitute here are you getting is it satisfying one minus three minus ten plus two no so x yeah, no is, sir x, no sir yeah one is not a factor of the given polynomial to you so, oh my goodness, one second. Yes, next. So, if 2 is a factor, like, and then it will be x minus 2 because yes. x minus 2 is. Yes, sir. So, let's 2. Let's take 2 value. So, 2 cube minus 3 into 2 square minus 10 into 2 plus 2. So, 8, 4, 3 is 12, minus 20 plus 2. Check. So minus 32 so it is not a factor i think then something is wrong in the question so see here if you simplify this let's simplify this 3x cube minus 3x square then minus 8x it becomes like this am i correct see minus 10x plus 2x minus 8x so that's how i just wrote that now let's take as per this substitute the value of x now 8 minus 12. No. So something. Sir, I think it should be minus 2, sir. Yes. Let's take minus 2 and correct it. X cube. Yes, sir. Minus 2. It is not. It's a machine generated question paper, guys. So there will be a mistake. Definitely there will be a mistake. Let's take minus check. So substitute 8 minus 12 and substituting x value 2. So, uh, so it will, sir, it will be minus 8, right? No, I'm taking x value 2, right? Correct? Uh, okay, sir. Hmm. Then if x is equal to, I'm taking 2, 2 q is 8, 4 3 is 12. 20 minus 2. So, still not. So, something is, uh, you know, wrong in the question. So, even we take, you know, different cases, we are not getting the right answer. So, something should have been there. So, plus minus, you know, uh, you just need to change here plus or minus something. Okay. So, just let's keep this question aside. I'll tell you how to solve a cubic polynomial in shortcut method. Okay. By using synthetic method, you'll be having a method called synthetic method. So I'll teach you that method, you know, once we start with the 
synthetic method i didn't do that so we didn't discuss in the class okay but in fact i think we discuss in a, a question paper discussion class right a quiz no sir this type I of question we got in the quiz right am i correct no sir no sir no sir no sir no okay no problem so next question so third one find the value of a if x plus 1 is a factor of p of x how many of you did this question how many of you did this question me sir okay so like i substituted x value is minus 1 so hmm. minus a in so is that 2ax one second lalit Just a minute, children. Be in line. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, Lalit. Tell me, Lalit. So, like I substituted x value as minus one, and then uh, minus one square, so it will be a x um, a. Uh, sorry, sir. A minus seven x. So, sir, minus seven into minus one is seven. So, uh, a plus seven plus three, which is a plus ten. So, a is equal to minus ten. So look at this here. Whenever you get, whenever you get asked this type of questions, so make sure that you are equating the given linear polynomial with zero. Okay, so x plus one is equal to zero. You get x value minus one. Correct? Correct? Isn't it? So substitute here. This is a x square yes, minus seven x plus three equal to zero. Can you hear me clearly? I think my side there is a network issue. Yes, sir. We can hear you, but uh, it's a bit low. Your voice. No problem. So, oh my goodness. So a into one, a into minus one whole square minus seven into minus one plus three <coughs> is equal to zero. One plus seven plus three is equal to zero. So a is equal to minus ten. This is how you just solve option C is correct. Shall we yes, move forward? Sir. Yes. Hope you all got this question, girls. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, next question. Now, which one is not a polynomial here? Which one is not a polynomial? Sir, it's 
So it's the second one, sir, because second it's one. minus oh, two. Yes. Sir, it can't be the D1. Sir, D1, because like it can be like X minus three, the whole square. And then square hmm. and square will get cancelled. Sir, D, because it will be written in... Yes, look at this. So first one is obviously a polynomial. The second one can't be a since the power of the variable is not a whole number. And the third one can be a polynomial. The fourth one, check fourth one. How can you write that as x sir, square plus sir x minus three minus the six. whole square x minus three the whole square yes look at this here nine many of you might think that yes so if the we have whole root so it can't be a polynomial if you just observe this properly can you make this as a perfect square x minus yes, sir, three x minus whole square three the whole square and then so, the square and square uh, expand this a square plus b square minus bx minus two ab right so minus six x so I'm getting again my original function so option d is also a polynomial now i can cancel this square and this square root so i just left with what x minus 3 so x minus 3 is a obviously polynomial clear isn't it people yes sir so option sir d i think the option a and option c are same option no better option both are different check both are different check properly here x2 minus root 3 x square x square oh. is out and uh, in a c option x square is inside the square root and uh, so it says understood understood sir yes okay shall i uh, clean the uh, clear the screen now shall we move forward for the next question yes sir yes sir So the next one is really easy, sir. It's 10 because, sir, A, B, then uh, B is 15. So you said 15 plus 10 is 25 because sum of the variables, the highest power. Yes. So degree of the a, degree of the polynomial A, B is 25. Okay. And degree of the, I do not know, let's say the, uh, I do not know the degree of the variable A, right? I mean, degree of the polynomial A, I know the polynomials, I know polynomial b is degree right degree of polynomial b given to you how much 15? yes sir then obviously like sir it is uh, 15 see, but uh, look at this here if i ask you right yes. x square what is the degree of this polynomial i say that i'll add their powers i'll just say the degree that's it five so similarly here one polynomial is degree given to you and another polynomial's degree is asking you so if it is 10 if it is 15 if i add these two then only i'll get 25 so that is what yes sir option a is very simple correct so this is also very good question simple question but you know a uh, different question you never seen before this type of questions so, uh, like you know, if you know the uh, concept then only you can solve this question correct isn't it people got the answer yes sir yes sir yes sir hmm. This is a polynomial divided by x plus y. Then the remainder is what? Very simple. Already we discussed. Sir, so x is equal to minus y. Then substitute the value and That's how it. much you get the remainder that will. Yes, sir. Look at this here. When you divide this by this one, the remainder is what? Everything is in the given in terms of numbers. So, what you do here? Yes, is... sir. But the calculation takes time because it's yes. x power of five. Why? Because look at this here. X plus y. You just equal it to zero. So you get x is equal to minus y, correct? So substitute x value minus y. Mm -hmm. Substitute x value minus minus y in the given polynomial. Look at this here, minus uh, 3 into 5 over to the power of 5 plus 11 into minus 5 to the power of 4 plus 90 into minus 5 to the power of 2 minus 19 into minus 2, sorry, minus 5. Yes, sir, plus 53. So, so it will be uh, um, uh, 3 into minus 3125. Okay. So, minus 5 will give how much? 3125, sir. Minus 3125. Minus 3125. Very good. So, plus 11. Sir, plus 625. Yes, sir. 11 25, 25, 25, yes. yes. Power is yes, even sir. here. So, plus it will be plus here. Correct? Yes, sir. It will be plus. Yes, sir. And then yes. 19 to 25, sir. Uh, next, uh, 90 into 25. 
plus uh, 95 so plus 95 95 yes sir add all these that's 53 yes sir all add this and then uh, answer will come will yes, the remainder very simple beta ji everyone knows this how to add this correct next question yes sir shall we move forward yes sir good is the expression this one and this one and dividing by this one leave the same remainder then the value of a is what how did you solve this sir sir um, sir what it it was i access values for so i substituted them and then i equal the both polynomials yes why because he has given they will get they leave the same remainder okay isn't it Isn't it, children? How many of us all in the same way as well as solved? I did, sir. Sir, is the voice coming to you, sir? I did, sir. Yes, yes, I can hear you, sir. Okay, sir. Your name is Reshi only, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, I think the answer is zero, sir. Okay, Shreyasi and Lalit both of these these two people only have solved. Okay. The answer is one. Answer is okay. Look one. at this here. Ha. Huh. So x square is to three into sorry a into a into four uh, cube. Four cube is sixty four. Plus sixteen three into sixteen minus three. Sir, I am getting the answer as one, sir. So. Sixty four. Yes, yes, yes. That is what he has also given. Correct. Sir, like I don't remember the answer. I thought it was zero. No problem. Sir, I I got minus one, sir. The answer. Minus one. One second. Let's check. Sir, for me also, sir, minus, sir, I don't know as. No, 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 sixty three a plus forty five one zero eight. Yes, sir, one zero eight. Yes. So one zero eight plus a. Plus no, 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 no. I just shifted this a to the left side. It becomes sixty three a. Yes, yes. So how much here? One zero eight minus forty five. Sixty-three. So correct? sixty-three. Oh my goodness, why it is so? So, so A is one. Yes, it's correct. Both will get cancelled. Okay. Answer A value one. See why we are equating both the polynomials. Tell me what is the reason behind that? Sir, because they said the remainder is same. Yes. And dividing these two polynomials by x minus four linear polynomial, it leaves the same remainder. So that is the major reason why we are equating these two polynomials. Correct. So this is how we solve better this type of questions. Hope it is clear. Next question. Shall I clear? Yes, sir. Shall I clear the screen? Okay. Hope you copied. Next question. If the polynomial, this one, is divided by, is divisible by this one, then what is this? How many of you did this? Sir, me, sir. How did you solve it? Tell me, Lalit. What about others? Sir, no, sir. I didn't do this one, sir. Hmm. I didn't understand this one, sir. Okay. What about Lalit? Lalit, Marogna, Nitya. Sir, 
sir? Yes. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Tell me. Um, sir, like I just equated x yeah, power of 4. Sir, I'm uh, getting the answer as uh, 10, sir. Yes, sir. Like I equated x power 4 minus 1 as then x power 4 is 1. X power of 4? Sir, like I did it in a different way, sir. Sir, I equated x power of 4 as 1. Mm, so, x value 1. That's how we did? Sir, x, sir, here I did like x to the power 4 into x to the power 2. Like, I divided each, each sum, sir. Then, at last, I got x square plus px. Uh, and, and then, at last, uh, p square plus q square, one, 1 plus 9, which is 10. Like yes, sir. Sir, what I did was I uh, like I took x power four as one. So like x could be either one or minus one. Then only the power could be one. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And then I tried with both, and which was satisfied. So I just yes, sir. Yes. Look at this here. If you are not uh, if you are not understanding, you know, if you are not understanding this way, try with this way. Look at this as uh, Nitya did x to the power of 4 minus 1 can be written as like this. Correct? So, further I can expand like this. As per the identity, so it becomes a plus b into a minus b. Right? So, if I equal to the 0, what happens now? One second. Then x square will be 1, sir. Minus 1. So, here x square is equal to 1. Correct? Getting my point? Yes, sir. Huh. Now here, now you you haven't learned square root of negative numbers so far. You will be learning in class 11, okay? Square root of sir, negative what numbers. what number, sir? Square root of? Square root of negative numbers. You haven't That's learned a negative, so far. Okay, sir. Hmm. So, you just leave that. In class 11, you will be learning. You just focus on this now. You, here, you will be getting plus or minus 1. Sir, for negative, I heard it's something else. Sir. Complex numbers. Yes, you'll be learning in a chapter called complex numbers. In class 11, you'll be learning. Leave it now. So this is what your x value now. So further, if you just taking the cases and uh, definitely p square plus q square, you'll be getting answer as option C, 10. Will you try this? If you want, you can take a snap. I know that many of you have not even touched the question. Hmm? Okay. I'm going for the next question, guys. So still, I have I 21 did, minutes. Sir, and I also got 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So still, we have left with 21 minutes. In the 21, I have to discuss 12 more questions. Next. Sir, then in this class, no quiz. Actually, if he... If you're left with any time, then we can go for quiz. If not, we'll have the quiz in the next class. No problem. But yes. Do consider this as a quiz. See, oh, whatever yes. the mistakes you made, you are learning that again. I don't know why it's not striking. Yes. Next question. One second, guys. Yes, now it's moving. So, if each of the algebraic expression. Blinking this one and this one and this one are perfect square. Then, how many of you did this? Hmm? Sir, this. One second, sir. Let me just check this. Anshul, are you here, Anshul? I think someone is texting me. Are they in waiting list? No. Sir, I I I did do it, sir. Okay. Can I say? Take how I... Yes, 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 please. 
who is this what is his name yes yes please tell me sir first like uh, i took like x is equals to m m uh, lm by n and then um like i div how to say sir no problem yes yes how to say yeah okay no problem i am i got the answer sir but i have not understand it like how to say to you it's fine it's fine what he has given is each of the algebraic expression a l x square plus m x plus n sir and one more thing i did the answer two times once i got two and once i got minus four sir yes second time i got minus four So I kept that as the. I tell you a shortcut. Answer. No problem. I tell you a shortcut here. So, have you heard about quadratic equations? Yes, sir. Yes, this quadratic. Yes, you haven't learned quadratic equations. In fact, but you just gone through quadratic polynomials. Correct. Quadratic polynomials. Correct. So, in yes. class ten, you will be learning quadratic equations. Okay. in class 10 you will be learning quadratic equations there you will be learning a concept called nature of the roots what is it nature of the roots so nature of the roots is nothing but see your roots can be real or equal roots can be imaginary i mean roots can be not real okay roots can be any root right look at this here first suppose let me write x is equal to 3 you are getting and x is equal to 3 you are getting both are what equal roots equal and real roots correct if you are getting let's say x is equal to 3 x is equal to 5 they are real roots they are real roots but not equal correct real and yes. distinct they are real and equal so you will be having different types of roots so that is what we called as nature of the roots under nature of the roots we will be learning whether your quadratic equation producing you real roots or you know not real roots uh, you know whether they are equal whether they are distinct whether they are i mean distinct is nothing but different whether they are equal or different so we will be finding out that by using nature of the roots concept so by using that you can make this question very easy actually so whenever you get perfect square concept whenever you get perfect square is nothing but equal so in that case in that case what i do here is i'll tell you a formula Yes, in fact, like you know, this is not your question actually. Ten standard question should be. It should be ten standard. It should be in ten standard paper actually. Okay, so here discriminant should be equal to zero. What is d here? D formula is b square minus four ac beta. You just remember the formula now. So as soon as you just come to the ten standard, I'll just teach you this in brief manner. No problem. Now the formula for finding this type of questions is what discriminant must be equal to zero. What is d here? Discriminant for discri formula for discriminant is what b square minus four ac equal to zero. Sir, what is b here? What is a here? What is c here? So from where I get that? You get a, b, c values from the given polynomial. Now, if I compare this polynomial, let us look at this. If I compare this polynomial with a x square plus b x plus c, so what is a, b, c value here? A value is l, b value is m, c value is what, beta? What is C value? N. Correct. Understood my point? Yes. Ah. Now look at it. Substitute all these values in this discriminant formula. So what you left with now? M square minus four into L into N. Correct. Yes. So this is what you get. Now what he has given? They are perfect square given. They are perfect square. Then L plus M by N is what he has given. now here from this from this i can write the x value let me erase this and create some space here from this x value is minus m by 2l and uh, from this x value is minus n by 2m from this x value is minus l by 2n how you are writing this again like you have to learn 10th standard concept no don't worry or else you do one thing or else do one thing you know for discussing this question i have to discuss like few more details i don't have that much time and even i discuss now it will be difficult for you no i'll remove this question 
this question i'll remove and uh, one more question it was right which question it was it was wrong right which question it was yes sir which question was that uh, sir that uh, cubic polynomial mm -hmm. factors yes, 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 yes so that second question so i'll remove these two questions i'll give the mark accordingly okay correct yes no problem answer would be two better like directly you can see if you know the concept you can uh, tell the answer very easily but no problem next question if x is equal to 2 x is equal to zero are roots of the polynomial are roots of the polynomial this one then find the value so, so solution sir so, so the uh, like the solution should come zero sir so, so like b is zero and then a is two sir how much times you do i got that only option c is correct then uh, a value two b value zero you got uh yes sir so, so like x is 2, sir. So, like substitute 2, then it will be uh, 16 minus uh, 20. So, it will be minus 4, then plus 2x plus b. Minus 5 into 4 plus 2 is yes, plus b. Yes, sir. Plus That's b is equal to 0. 0. So, 16 minus 20 plus 2a plus b is equal to 0. So, minus 4 plus 2a plus b is equal to 0. So, so, so like if b is 0, then you only will... Yes, wait, wait, sir. Wait. Now, here, you got this beta, correct? You got this. When yes, you sir. substitute, if x is equal to 2, this is what the relation I got. If yes, sir, and b is equal, equal to... Wait, 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 wait. If x is equal to 0, uh, you have to go with both cases. If x is equal to 0, what is going to happen? Tell me. What do you get so now? So then uh, 0, 0 minus... minus uh, 0, so then b is 0. equal to 0, sir. B is so 0. directly b value, I got 0 here. So if I take x value 0, I got b value. So take this b value and substitute in the first equation. Let us consider this as a 1. Let us consider this as a second equation. So, so then we will get a as 2. Correct. 2. 2a plus 0 is equal to 4. a value is 2. Quite obvious. Option c is correct. Understood the process? Guys, have you understood or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, let me clear the screen. Next question. Yes, that is what he has also given here. No problem. So, find the remainder when it's divided by x minus 2. Find the remainder when you divide this polynomial by 2. So, very simple. Sir, like, so then x is equal to 2 and then 2 square, then 4 plus 32 plus 18, 54. That's, that's it. it. Option D is correct. Quite simple. See, uh, this type of question I think we solved in quiz as well. Before the exam, we wrote one quiz, right? So, in that quiz, we just wrote this type yes, of Yes, sir. Question. This one you already said, sir. Like, yeah, yes, sir. Like, remainder theorem, sir. You also taught, uh, taught us. So, yeah. so, like, yes, sir. So, it will be... A... So it's plus, sir. Which one? So 4 plus 32. Sir? One second. X square. So plus you wrote. Plus 8. Yes, sir. You wrote uh, X square uh, yeah, yeah, minus. Yeah, 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 yeah. 4 plus 4. 2 4 square plus is 4. 32. 16 to 32. 32 plus 18. Yes, sir. Plus 18, which is uh, 36 plus 18 is 54, sir. The option D. Yes, sir. Yes, you can obviously tell the answer. Look at it. Minus 10 is not possible. This is not possible. This is not possible. Minus. In, your answer would not be negative, of course. And some of all these numbers can't be 10. So, of course, that would be not the answer. Yes, sir. D is correct. Next answer. I mean, next question. Let me clear this. Okay. Sir, this question is, I think, same. So, we already did this. It's minus 10. No problem. Which one? This one? Oh, my goodness. I think this is a repeated question. Minus 10. But already we discussed this. It is a bonus for everyone. It's a repeated sir. question. Yes, yes. Tell me. Someone is talking. No, sir. Like, that also gave an advantage for another marks. Yes, yes. So, find the remainder. Find the remainder when f of x. Sir, so, x is like uh, 1 by 2. X value, that's it. Look at it. Whenever you, same type of questions we are solving, but the way of asking the question is different here. The terminology using in the question is different, but the concept is same. 
you understood here if f of x has given g of x has given but the concept is same at all look at this here dividing by this g of x so equating the g of x with a zero so x value is going yes, to be so x is then one, uh, one by two sir and then one by one two by two. q one by eight minus so x value is one by two here how one by two look at this here one is equal to two x x value one by two substitute one by two in f of x so one by two whole cube minus six into one by two whole square plus two into one by two minus four so one by eight uh, minus six into one by four plus one this this will get cancelled minus four so here two twos two threes taking the lcm taking the lcm the lcm is eight correct so one yes, so it's minus thirty twelve plus eight minus thirty two correct so so minus thirty five right so huh how oh. so the answer is minus thirty five no 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 I'm I didn't write the final answer wait wait so yes minus sir. thirty two minus four minus three by eight so minus thirty five by eight is the answer yes sir. minus eleven plus eight is minus three minus three. yes sir. understood guys I took LCM here look at this solve taking LCM and solving it hope everyone knows how to take LCM guys so the the next one is also we already finished so the next question next one also already we did two questions repeated my goodness you all are lucky i think huh <laughs> yes lucky. so next time i'll i'll make sure that no question is repeating okay so but you said this test is computer generated i i can get it i can just you know remove the questions understood my point i can remove the questions if i want this is a machine generated you can add new i can add new questions actually if I give the number of questions, it automatically generates the questions. So from that, if I give, see, every time I just go for 25 to 30 questions. Okay. So from that, I, if I feel some questions are wrong, I'll just deduct, I mean, I'll just delete them. And after that, I'll leave these 20 questions. So in those 20 questions also, there'll be a mistake again. That is a problem. Okay. Find the, uh, this one is a, uh, a sir, because like, Huh. Sir, they gave a plus uh, this uh, a p yeah. a b c is minus thirty six. Yeah, this. sir. That that minus thirty six only is giving no answers. Yes, sir. And then minus c into minus b into minus c, it is a a b c. And then uh, they said minus a b c is thirty six. So a b c will be plus thirty six. So it's yes, first sir. option. I didn't go for much in solving this, sir. Minus thirty six. Yes, sir. Plus thirty six will come. So x cube minus. I didn't see anything yes, else. Sir. Yes. yes, sir. Why tell me why plus thirty six there? Why plus? I I need a uh, quick answer from you. Uh, if you are thinking in that way, it's a quite simple process. Yes. So like they gave minus A B C as minus thirty six. So A B C is a plus thirty six. Yes. Yeah. Uh, even yes. Yes, sir. Cut that. both sides minus. Yes. Yes. Now he has given. Look at this here. A product of this. He has given here. Look at this. After multiplying this, you got this. Correct. Yes, sir. So obviously, a required polynomial would be the option A. None of the options gives you. Look at this here. There is a not at all possible of going for another option. Quite, uh, you know, common sense. It's quite a simple thing. Right? Yes, option sir. Option A would be the right answer. So now the sixteenth question, sir. Like uh, a plus b plus c the whole cube. So like thirteen whole yeah, yeah. cube. Uh, no, sir. Thirteen whole square is uh, one sixty nine. Sir, yeah, so it's like it two ABC. Wait, 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 one second, one second. Here, this type of questions, what you have to do is squaring on both sides. If you do squaring on both sides, two this. Look at this. Here. This is the a thing plus b plus squaring on both square. sides. So squaring on both sides, a square plus b square plus, plus b square, square plus c square, square plus two ab plus bc plus ca. Yes, sir. So it's called one sixty nine. Thirteen square is one sixty nine. Hope everyone you know yes, listening the class. Yes. yes, sir. And then in place of A, B plus B, C this plus C, we can 50. put 50, sir. Is equal sir, so 100. So we can uh, then minus is 69, sir. That's yes, it. sir. That's it. A yes, sir. 169 minus 100, right? Yes, sir. Then it will be 69, sir. That's it. Hope everyone got the Yes, answer. sir. Any doubts, people? Got it. Very simple. Next, let me clear this way. 
guys don't keep quiet if you don't understand anything ask me immediately so the next one is minus 7 yeah. so yeah. the splitting method very simple look at this here are very very simple equating both sides that is look at this here x square minus x minus 42 x square plus 6x uh plus yes, so then uh, plus minus 7x So x square minus x minus forty two, x square plus x into six plus k. So like instead of equating, I just solved it. Like I got minus seven then. Yeah. So it will be d sir because like uh, it's six uh, x uh, minus seven x because then only you will get minus x. Very simple. Look at this here. See, we need to find out k value. I need to find out k value. Just k value it is available here. You can you can you know equate their constants. Six k is equal to minus forty two, so six one six seven. Correct. Yes, sir. And this one is like the next one, sir. Three point five into three point five is twelve point two five. Clear? Any doubts in seventeenth question, guys? Seventeenth question. Any doubts? I just equated their constants, sir. Why did you equate? Why? Because we have look at this here. This polynomial is equal to this polynomial, sir. Why you are equating constants only? Why can't you equate their x coefficients? Why not look at this equation? You can do like that also, but I here what is the coefficient of x minus one? So minus one is equal to six plus k. So what is the k value now? K value is equal to minus one minus six. Still same answer. Look at this. Either you equate x coefficients or their constants. So answer will be the same. Correct? Yes, sir. We'll get minus seven. So the next one three point five square is twelve point two five. Clear the screen. Shall I clear the screen? One yes, sir. Minute. Next question. Hope, guys, are you all listening in the class? Yes, sir. Right. Next question. Let me clear this. So, this question value of this thing is what? Very simple. Yes, sir. So, Multiply like three point five square is twelve point two five, and then two point five square is six point two five. So, if you minus, you'll get six. That's it, sir. Twelve point two five, six point two five, six. Answer. See, without even putting the pen on the paper, you can tell the answer. Direct. <laughs> yes. Sir. Is it? See, actually, yeah, I thought of keeping a few easy questions as well. So that is the reason that's how this question came. But next exam, I'll not give this type of question. Speak a fourth class student will solve this. Next question. Yes, sir. Actually, the polynomial this and this. When divided by this one leaves remainder R one and R two respectively. The value of two R one minus R two is what? How many? How many? Uh, like I got eighteen by twenty one twenty seven, but it said minus eighteen by one twenty seven. So he has given the solution, but okay, let's check. Look at this here. Leaves the remainder he has given. So what we do here is look at it. Uh, f of um, this is a polynomial given to you. One second, I'm not able to write. Why? Right? Oh yes, yeah, this is a polynomial given to you. But okay, so substitute x value four here. What do you get? So, so like sixty-four uh, a plus. Uh, so, like this is actually the same question like before, but they said the remainder was equal, and this time they're saying two r minus r is zero. Sixty-four. So, so sixty-four a plus uh, six uh, 60 plus sixty. Uh, yes, a uh, forty-eight uh, minus three. And uh, here. One twenty-eight. One twenty-eight. Minus twenty. Twenty plus a, sir. And so it will be one zero eight plus a. Forty five, one zero eight. Zero eight plus a. This is also same question. A value one I got, uh, but the question is what leaves the remainder R one and R two. So how can I go with this? Look at this here. Quite same thing, but he has given R two. No, like multiply the side by two, sir. Two exactly. two into sixty three. We are not. Uh, we are not. You know, ask. You know, we shouldn't. Uh, Find out a value here. Why? Because whatever that whatever this you know gives you, we have to multiply with the two there, right? So we have to multiply left side with the two, correct? Okay. So one twenty eight. One second. One twenty eight a two uh, into forty five ninety is equal to one zero eight plus a. Am I correct? So what you are going to get now? One twenty seven a is equal to ninety one zero eight minus ninety. So one twenty seven a is equal to ninety. How much? Eighteen. Correct. So a value is eighteen by by one twenty seven. This is what your answer should be. 
ऑप्शन बी शुड बी करेक्ट बट अपट ऑप्शन ये गिवन टू यू करेक्ट यस सर यस सर ऑप्शन बी सर दिस द ओनली क्वेश्चन आई गॉट रॉन्ग सर दैट्स व्हाई सर कैन यू करेक्ट दिस क्वेश्चन यस यस आई विल करेक्ट इट आई विल करेक्ट इट ऑप्शन बी शुड बी करेक्ट आई मीन ऑप्शन बी शुड बी करेक्ट नो प्रॉब्लम next question very simple this question is also very simple question very good question actually uh, look at this here what he has given beta what are they they one second one second guys screen is moving here and there yeah so now look at this are they they what is happening like this Ah. Sir, if it's no. given x to the power of three, sir, then no, one no, no. by x is x. Cubing on both sides. Cubing on both sides. Okay. Cubing on both sides. If I do so, what you get, beta? So then, uh, sir, then uh, x cube, cube uh, minus one by x cube uh, minus three, sir. So a b is like one. Minus so three so three minus three and a minus b. So so in a minus b, we'll put three. And so minus nine will go the other side. Uh, so twenty-seven plus nine is thirty-six. That's it, sir. Minus one by x cube. This this will get cancelled. So minus three left you left with here. This value given to you, which is three, twenty-seven. Yes, sir. Then x it's thirty-six, sir. Minus one by x cube. Minus nine is equal to twenty-seven. So x cube minus one by x cube is equal to thirty-six. Six. Yes, sir. That's it. Option B is correct. So that is how we just go about this question. Correct. Okay, so let's. Oh, I got all with. correct, sir, in the in the oh, test. Congratulations. I think uh, I need to remove how many? I need to uh, repost the results. Sir, three, sir. I think three questions. So those who have attempted, those who have attempted them and got uh, lost the marks, you know, those students, you know, have to text me so that I can uh, edit your marks and uh, repost the results. Okay. Sir, Thank should you. I like text you in WhatsApp? Yes, yes. Please, please. Okay, everyone. Sir, can you your number? I don't know. No, no, no. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. I have a next class, so let me leave. Any doubt so far? Lalit, Jasmita, Anvesha, Ayusha. No, who is sir. Prathvi? Who is Prathvi? No doubt, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any doubts, Prathvi? You joined late, why? Sir, it was some network problems. Okay. Yes, why late? Hmm. Okay. Be on time, Pratvi, for the next class. Yes, sir. Okay. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you. Have a nice time. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir.